Hello, this is April with the Livingston Parish Chamber of Commerce bringing you a weekly update on what business in Livingston Parish should be looking out for. One of the things that is uh, extremely important is the Louisiana Main Street Grant Program will open up its application process tomorrow. That's Tuesday, July 28th. Um, you can access that information at the State Treasurer's website, at excuse me, State Treasurer Schroeder. Tonight at 5.30, he will be having a webinar with um, to go over some Q&A on that session. So he's been hosting quite a bit of them, and some of them he's hosting here with our uh, Livingston and Tangipo delegation. So you can reach that tonight at 5.30. As soon as we get access to our software, we will email that out to you so you can take a look at the link. The next thing is that um, it's $15,000 grants. We expect a really fast turnaround on the funds. And um, just be on the lookout for that and make sure you get in queue. The website is really user-friendly. It has a process that allows you to go through to make sure that your business qualifies before you get too deep into that process. Another thing is Congress is in session this week. And so we're looking at, and you've probably seen PPP uh, funds and additional stimulus packages, but what we're looking at is PPP 2.0. So we've been in close touch with the U.S. Chamber. They've been keeping us abreast of what um, we can expect in that way. And so um, we do anticipate businesses with 300 or less employees are going to be the, the next target, um, making sure it's going that direction. And those who can show some financial differences between last year and this year in relation to COVID are going to be some of the high points there. Um, we are hoping that the chamber industry of the 501c6 industry will be included this go round. We've been left out of all of that funding. So it's been, um, you know, kind of on our own on this lately. And we appreciate everyone investing in us and continuing to help us to help the business and community end of Livingston Parish. Um, tomorrow, as far as the chamber goes and chamber programming, a lot of you have been asking about our events and what our intentions are there. We have moved forward with our Young Professionals Annual Meeting tomorrow. It is very close to being sold out, so we're limited to 50 people in the room, and we know that that's been um, a challenge on that end. So we do have one or two seats left. As I, would, I know we said we were sold out, but we anticipate um, those will be gone by the end of the day. All social distancing practices will be in place at the event. The good thing is, is that we will be announcing our Livingston Future Five at the event, our Livingston Young Professionals Member of the Year, and Ross Kinchin will pass the gavel on to Kelsey Moak, who will take over the leadership reins of the Young Professionals Program. That program has 71 members. We really want to encourage you to take a look um, at getting your young professionals within your organization involved in this one. It's a huge opportunity for them to learn and develop as leaders and get very broad focused community advocacy. So it's not just about one thing, it's a big broader picture like everything that we do at the chambers definitely to um, have a, a lot of inner, inner, inner energy with um, all the programs we have. One more thing is our Livingston Business Network is also open tomorrow at noon at Don's. We will be having a um, in-person meeting there. You can register. We need to know you're coming. That is open to any chamber member. Lunch is on you. Social distancing practices in place there as well. As long as you are not a part of another business referral group, we would love to see you attend. And that's only because obviously the referrals, I would want them to stay within that group. That's the purpose of this program at this time. We're looking at some expansions happening there. So once a month, that group meets in person starting tomorrow. And then on the fourth Tuesday of the month, they meet virtually. So you can look at an invite there as well. Really good um, program to learn about other industries, what they do and how businesses are facing challenges head on. So that's our beginning of the week of July 27th. Lots of things happening here and um, take a look at them. Take a look at the Chamber website to stay up to date. We are trying to get together our Leadership Livingston application process. The process is in place. The big challenge right now is figuring out what are we going to do about dates. So be on the lookout for that. We hope to release those, the um, newest applications before the end of this week. Y'all have a great, great week.